Welcome back to Engineer Labs. Today we're going to be doing the iodine clock reaction. Guys, look at how cool that is! If you are a subscriber to our quantum subscription boxes, or if you have one of our quantum STEM kit things, you have everything you need to do this experiment. And if you're not a subscriber to our quantum kits, what are you doing? No, but for real guys, these are so awesome. Like I said, you will literally have everything you need to do experiments. We're gonna send out a box to you monthly. This just so happens to be one of them. So let's hop right into this video. This is honestly one of my favorite reactions because it is so <laughs> mind boggling. Nonetheless, this is one of the coolest reactions we have. So I'm stoked that it's box one. We give you enough supplies to do it multiple times as well. So that's really exciting because if you screw it up the first time, like I definitely did, you get another chance. But that's what experimenting is all about. Because we're working with chemicals, we're gonna go ahead and grab our protective gear, goggles, a mask, gloves, some hand protection, Yeah. All right. <laughs> Solution A, beaker, starch, sodium, metabisulfite, water, stirring rods. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up our pocket scale. We'll need it to measure out the starch and the sodium metabisulfite. Batteries are included. We're gonna start with 50 milliliters of warm water. The temperature of the water will change the reaction. In the end, the warm water does matter. Almost perfect. I'm gonna turn on our gram scale, go ahead and tear it, which basically just means set it to zero. And I'm gonna do 0.1 grams of starch. Stirred, not shaken. All right, bringing the gram scale back in. This is where we're gonna do 0.2 grams of the sodium metabisulfite. 0.2 grams of the sodium metabisulfite in solution A. And that'll be 0.2. Stir that puppy up. Solution, <laughs> solution B. <laughs> Beaker number two, water, potassium iodate. Here we go. For this one, we're gonna do 70 milliliters of water. On the beaker, obviously there's not a 70 milliliter, but there is a 75, I'm gonna go just below the 75. Now we're gonna do 0.7 grams of the potassium iodate. That'll do it. We do give you two stir rods. Use the other stir rod for this one or else the reaction will happen too early. All right, so we've got our two solutions here. We've got solution A, solution B. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour solution A into solution B, briefly stir, and sit there and watch the magic. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the channel. <laughs> Guys, look at how cool that is. It literally just like, you know, gets me every time. Another thing that we provide you with is a way to dispose of it to neutralize the reaction so you can pour it down a drain with water. You're gonna add two grams of the sodium thiosulfate. This is kind of cool. This is like an experiment by itself and I'll show you why. You can see it start to lighten up, to clear up again. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up real quick and then we can talk a little bit about the science behind this. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh, oh. don't mind the ring on my face. <laughs> So we started with two invisible ingredients mixed in water, right? We had the potassium iodate and the sodium metabisulfite. At first, they quietly react with each other, creating iodine. However, this iodine is being eaten up by the metabisulfite, so you don't see anything yet. However, after some time, the metabisulfite, in a sense, gets tired, and it can't eat any more of that iodine. Now, as for the starch, starch as a molecule is a very curly molecule, kind of like a noodle. The iodine molecules that are no longer being eaten up by the metabisulfite can sneak in to the molecules of the starch that forms a complex that absorbs light, therefore creating this dark blue to our eyes. And that's why it gives a clock-like reaction is you never know when that metabisulfite is gonna get tired 
of eating the iodine and it's just a really neat reaction it's it's almost unbelievable but again if you want absolutely everything that comes in this kit check it out on engineeredlabs.com for our quantum subscription boxes guys these are so cool again we'll send an experiment or two maybe even three sometimes right to your door everything you need also check out engineeredlabs.com for other incredible gifts and trinkets and science experiments and everything in between all right guys we'll see you i just sounded like a dad at a business meeting <laughs> all right well <clears throat> appreciate it <laughs> all right <laughs>